how did you end up meeting Diddy? So when I signed to Jazzy, that's when we really locked in. And I would go live at her crib for a little bit. Like for month stretches, we I go stay over there for like three months. When In I LA? first, yeah, when I first signed to her, the first day I went over there, she was like, "One of the, these, this is gonna be one of them nights." And I guess it was Gunna's birthday, mm. and Diddy was throwing an after party, so I'm nervous as f I'm like, she met all these celebrities and shit. Like. Yeah, I'm like, bro, this is my first time really being around. The lit, like the turn, the industry. Hmm. So we went to Gunna's birthday party. Future was there. Normani was there. Everybody in the industry was there. Diddy Sons, all the baddest in LA. I'm like, like I'm from Colorado. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really a normal yeah. kid, gang. Like, I was just downtown, like, nuts. Meeting all these people, shit's crazy. Like at one point, Gunna's like birthday party ended, but there was an after party like at the top floor or something. So everybody's leaving the birthday party, fighting to get into the next party. It's crowding the elevators, crowded in the lobby. Chris Brown runs up to Jazzy, says what's up. I mean Chris Brown. That was probably my second time meeting Chris Brown. Chris Brown loved Jazzy, so I would see him all the time. So then, it ends up being too packed, so now we're going to Diddy's birthday party, or not his birthday party, but after party or whatever. So there was two parties going on after, and one was like after the gunner party, and then one was somewhere else, at, yeah. and that was Diddy's party? Yeah. Okay. So we get in the Uber, we bring like two from the party, and we're in there with like one of Diddy's sons and shit. Then we had to Diddy's crib. So at first I was nervous. Now I'm really nervous because I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. He's Diddy. Because at this the time, who, you know, put Biggie on him. Like, yeah, at this so. time he's looked at in the light of a uh, hip hop goat. Like, right. so we start heading to his crib. I'm nervous. As fuck. She's like, I'm gonna introduce you to Diddy tonight. Like, it's up. Like we locked in. So we walk. We get to his crib. It's a line outside. We skip the line. We walk in the first house, because at Diddy's house, he got three houses. Is this it's the like, one in L.A.? Or, yeah. Okay. He got three houses. The first house, biggest And then he got two big ass houses in the back. One's the party house, one's the guest house. So we walk through the crib, crazy. I'm like, oh, shit. Is this like in Beverly Hills or something? Or like, I don't, I've like, been to L.A. once, so I don't even know what, what neighborhoods and what and stuff. It, I, it might be Bel Air or... Beverly Hills. Just one of the like really rich. It's really rich though. Yeah. Like when you drive down the street, everybody's yeah, house is covered cool. like by gardens and, yeah. and like trees. You can't even see the house. So we walk through the house and then we head to the party house. The party house, as soon as you walk in, you go upstairs, it's all red. Like you could tell it's like a crazy vibe in there. Mm. So we walk in, I'm nervous as shit. Like, I get nervous to talk because it's like, sheesh, just remembering the moment. We walk in, and then Diddy's just standing right there. Everybody's in there, though. Party Next Door, Joey Badass, Tiana Taylor. Everybody was in that. And then I walk in, and she like, yo, Diddy, this is my new artist, uh, Ox Dior. He out of here. And then I shake his hand, and I'm just like, Yeah. <laughs> like, just like, like some shit out of a dream. 